be the last time I'm gonna pause it. In the previous video, the family at the end of it, they said that he was just playing a casino game, right? Now you're gonna see in the video what it is that went down and the police themselves are gonna ask the same thing and I wanna know for real. So if when we get there, comment your thoughts down below and let's see because what really is this? I'm gonna give my thoughts after. I'm gonna just, you know, I just thought I'd give that heads up real quick. They check waistbands. The officer gets to Spencer and then signals to his partner that he is armed. Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. So we're gonna get right back to the video. But if you wanna know how to draw or paint like me, hit the like, hit the subscribe. If you wanna support your boy and buy some of my merch, you know, I got information on that. Down in the description below, you can check out my store. I also got some new music coming out this Friday. So tap in, tune in, show some love. I appreciate you. And let's get right back to the video. Hey, yo, gang, what's happening? It's your boy, Rain TJ, back again with another reaction video. And today we're looking at something that's like already happening. I just did a reaction video to this topic already. There was a police blicking down in Philly. Uh, a young man at 28, he was unalived by the police. It turned out to be like, well, the family said he was just playing a casino game. And in those footage that we originally got, you couldn't see none of that. But in today's video, you know, you get to see a little bit more. So let's get right into it from a different angle and an update. They caught the guy who... Uh... Tonight in the big story on Action News is breaking news. A man has been found and arrested in connection with Friday night's police shooting in North Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. He's accused of stealing the gun that was used to shoot and wound an officer that evening. Action News reporter Andy McCormick is live from Philadelphia Police Headquarters with the very latest. Andy. Yeah, and this suspect was wanted for tampering with evidence and also obstruction of justice. Tonight at Juniper and Ray Streets, police did pull over a vehicle that they say that he was in and took him into custody. Tonight at Juniper and Ray Streets, police arrested 42-year-old Jose Quinones Mendez. This witness says he watched as dozens of officers swarmed this vehicle. I've never seen so many people running that fast and in that kind of, a, it was like a whole herd probably 50, maybe 60. It's a new development and the deadly officer involved shooting that left a Philadelphia police officer injured and 28 year old Alexander Spencer dead. Police Great. say Mendez is seen here on surveillance. Why would you do this? Like check this out gang, why would you do this? I mean, obviously, but like still, why would you do this bro? Like one, it's 2024 bro, there's cameras everywhere, like, this is the angle that we originally saw it from. This guy instantly posted it to social media, right? And this is the guy who was saying, what is you doing? What is you doing? Right? But I guess because of the door, that's crazy. He was so near to this camera and we didn't see that. But police just released this footage to show him here. Straight up and down, bro. Why would you do this? Like hot gun, bro in the heat of the moment, like, this ain't even an investigation yet. This is still an active incident going on and he about to take out the weapon, but that's crazy, bro. It's video taking the gun Spencer allegedly used to shoot a Philadelphia police officer. Yesterday, police and the district attorney's office released video from inside Jennifer's Tavern Friday evening, showing the officers enter asking if anyone had a gun. Okay. No, hold on. So this is probably the last time I'm gonna pause it. In the previous video, the family at the end of it, they said that he was just playing a casino game, right? Now you're gonna see in the video what it is that went down and the police themselves are gonna ask the same thing. And I wanna know for real. So if when we get there, comment your thoughts down below and let's see because what really is this? I'm gonna give my thoughts after. I'm gonna just, you know, I just thought I'd give that heads up real quick. They check waistbands. The officer gets to Spencer and then signals to his partner that he is armed. There's a struggle on the ground. You hear a shot and see blood coming from the leg of an officer. Police say Spencer fired that shot. Their gunners are holes. That could have just been like a straight up accident in the heat of the moment and all that, bro. But check it. My man here, hands up. Hands they check waistbands. Letting them check him. Yeah, the officer gets to Spencer and then signals to his partner that he is armed. There's a But did he really start being aggressive? Who started to be the aggressor here, bro? 
Spencer and then signals to his partner that he is armed. There's a struggle on the ground. You hear a shot and see blood coming from the leg of an officer. Pol and why you go for your firearm, lethal weapon first? Like, bro, like, you on him already. Couldn't you use your taser? You know what I mean? And just pzz, zap him like, yo, what you doing? And like, I don't know, bro. I don't know. Maybe he didn't have a taser. And plus the angle that, it's, that he's at, it's obviously easier for him to go for this, you know? And plus, they hear deadly weapons shoot off, so they probably could return deadly force. I don't know how it all works, but like, I just feel this deletion of somebody didn't need to go down, bro. Like, this did not need to go down. And look, homie here just like, shh, bro, they fighting right now, bro. You know what I mean? They was just chilling in here playing this game. You feel me? Struggle on the ground. You hear a shot and see blood coming from the leg of an officer. Police say Spencer fired that shot. Their gunners are holstered, and only after being shot do they take their weapon out. We've paused the video. Here is the wounded officer's partner, six year veteran of the force, 33-year-old Raheem Hall, fires at Spencer, killing him. The city and police will not say if the officers performed a legal stop and frisk or if they strayed from policy, citing the ongoing investigation. So what's that? What was that? You know, like, what do you think that was? You think that was an illegal stop and frisk or what? I feel like who just walks in, yo, anybody have a blicky on them? You know what I mean? But anyways, gang, thanks for watching today's video. And once again, if you like the drawings to the side, hit the like, hit the subscribe. If you could get me to 2.5K, I'll probably stop doing reactions altogether. I got some drawings in the works for you that I can't wait to show you. It's going to be amazing. I promise you, y'all. I just need to get those numbers. So let's keep it pushing. Thank you for your support. And have a great day. All right, bye, everybody. Don't give a damn. She take it like a real warrior. She take it like a real champion. She take it like she's down on the face. Not the devil, I'm not scared. And she don't give a damn. Slow wine.